Let's now move on to West Africa. More than 280 students abducted by gunmen from a school in Nigeria earlier this month have been released. Nigerian officials say the school-going children were unharmed and were released days before the ransom deadline. The gunmen carried out the kidnapping on March 7th in the town of Kuriga, a northwestern Kaduna state. It was the first mass kidnapping in the country since 2021 when over 150 students were kidnapped from a secondary school. The extremist group Boko Haram was the first to carry out kidnappings from schools in Nigeria. The most notable one being the 2014 kidnapping of 276 students from a girls' school in Chibok in northeastern Borno State. Some of those girls were not released. But since then, criminal gangs with no ideological affiliation have largely followed suit, seeking financial ransoms. Kaduna State Governor Obasani said the country's national security advisor had coordinated the release of the students, but he did not provide further details. Last week, the gunmen demanded a ransom equivalent to about $690,000 in exchange for the release of the students and staff. The government said it would not pay any ransom after doing so was legally banned in 2022. We do understand that the students were taken to meet the governor of Kaduna State. And um, the governor did say that the government did try to do everything possible to return the, all the students, which they did. It has taken at least two weeks for the government in Nigeria to recover the students. We want to understand how the government did so. And now that the government is saying that these students are unharmed, we want to, to know the state of the students at this moment. Okay, so let's understand the situation in Nigeria. Our correspondent, Louisa Olani, is now joining us on the phone from Lagos. Louisa, good to hear you. What's the latest from this uh, uh, good news from Nigeria? We understand that all the 287 students have been, cap have been rescued, rather. Well, um, the news of the um, kidnapping of the pupils came in uh, this morning, uh, and it's been mixed feelings. Uh, when it comes to the news, mm -hmm. we are told that um, in a statement signed by the state, uh, Kaduna State Governor, uh, Senator Sani Uba, that um, this pupils uh, were released. But like, um, like I said, um, there are questions still hanging as to how it was done. And you recall that there was a, a ransom of one billion right. that was demanded from this um, abductor. Mm -hmm. And um, they were given a deadline for March 27, which is about four days from now. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, miraculously, uh, this is coming up um, today. Um, yes, it's been confirmed and um, fingers are crossed as to how it happened and other developing stories. Louisa, we do understand that the uh, kidnappers were asking for at least 690,000 US dollars. And the government said that it will not pay the ransom. Um, do we know how they really convinced these kidnappers to let the children go? Well, well like I mentioned, um, yes, that's about one billion when it comes to Nigerian Naira. And um, the government uh, vowed not to you know, negotiate or pay any um, sort of ransom. Uh, the release that was announced today, we're not told if any money uh, parted ways from the government and the abductors. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, we're still looking forward to that. But 
Um, we don't have cases of, um, you know, the government coming out to say that ransom was being paid for, um, you know, um, release such as this. It might be something that might not come to the public for, but um, like I said, it's been mixed feeling so I'm happy that at least these children are out. Mm. But the modus of language, how it went about, how they were released all in one piece without um, any form of casualty, mm. is what Nigerians are skeptical about. Uh, if it's, um, you know, the same old routine of, um, you know, how things are done. But for now, mm -hmm. no ransom was reported and paid to the perpetrators. The Nigerians seek more clarification as to what happens to these abductors if ever we we'll see people being brought to book as a result of such, um, you know, act of, um, you know, kidnapping across the country. All right. I've been talking to our correspondent, Louisa Olani. If you're just joining us, this is news from Nigeria, where we are reporting that 287 students who were abducted by gunmen from a school in Nigeria earlier this month have been released. And I've been talking to our correspondent, Louisa Olani, from Lagos. Louisa, thank you. For all the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.